This conference will now be recorded. All right, guys, today is Thursday, November 29th. Two days left in in November. And we, I mean, I can't believe how fast everything's went. We are going to be in December already. Before we know it, it's going to be spring again back here in New York. As always, everything that we're going to be talking about today is for educational purposes only, and nothing is intended as any type of investment advice. So interesting morning so far. And by interesting, I mean absolutely not interesting whatsoever. So most things out there we're going to be basing off of story this morning um, rather than actually uh, you know, getting a show of hand coming in through the pre-market. So let's take a look at Apple first. Now, Apple's been continuing to run, but we kind of knew this. Well, not that we kind of knew this. Um, based off the fact of you know the, the prints that we got at that 180, and it kind of just kept pushing. It pulled back a little bit towards that 180. It actually didn't break, but then pushed up early this morning. Now, one thing that I want to, to for, uh, for you guys to remember is that we've talked about this before, and this is something I love. Okay, the highest probability trades that we're ever going to get are stocks that get very far away from where they have to go. All right, we look at Apple right now. It's at 183. All right, we know that at 175, we have a huge amount of bid prints that showed us the dominant market maker of where, it, where you know, of uh, their position coming in. Um, so knowing that, like I said, we're getting far away. I mean, you're talking about eight dollars away from where it really needs to be. So, um, looking at that, the uh, probability of our trades are just drastically increasing. All right, coming up as you know, pretty much this entire way as it's been going, we did get some good prints that came in around this 181.40, which I did like. And you know, I mean, it's it's pushed it up. They pretty much already made their money coming back in. Um, but at that 183 level, nothing whatsoever. We did get a bid print that came in at 182, but you know, I'm, I'm a little bit shocked to be completely honest that we saw absolutely nothing as we were coming back up here. I mean, it pretty much was almost all selling. Um, you can see a few prints came in that were a little bit late that brought us all the way down to this 184, uh, 180.94 print line. So that's a spot that I'm going to be watching very, very closely. But overall, um, this morning, you, had a, you know, a few cre you know, uh, few below the bid prints, and then we had that 181.40. But other than that, guys, I'm not seeing much of any real buying that's coming in. And Apple's one of those stocks, even though the orders are very thin right now, <coughs> excuse me, that doesn't mean anything. If, you, if somebody, a market maker wants to go out there and buy a bunch or sell a bunch of Apple, they'll have no problem doing that whatsoever, and we're just not seeing that so far. All right, NVDA. Now, this is another one where we know 155, we have a whole bunch of selling that came in yesterday. Um, so based off that, it's not as far away as, uh, as Apple is. <coughs> Excuse me. One thing that we do have to realize, though, is that at 160 we do have a bunch of ask prints. So overall, the you know the move itself, as we talked about in our trades exchange, is up. Okay, but the person that came in and unloaded at that 155 level, I am expecting us to see a move, a, a bigger move up above that 160. All right, it's just not as much as you would have expected, and the amount of prints that we did see coming back into there would show us that. It, it you know it still does have more room towards that upside and I talked about this yesterday in our afternoon meeting or our closing bell meeting excuse me but we do have this this gap that's sitting right there and I just don't like it at all especially with you know with what's going on and how much you know how many prints we did get at that 155 level you can see coming back down 159 is getting a few ask prints I would expect a move down but don't don't fall for the overall move down yet. All right, be we careful of that move back up to satisfy those ask friends at that 160 level. Um, and then let's talk about, you know, the one other stock that I do have on my list um, from this morning, and it is TNXP. All right, now be very, very careful. This is one of those stocks that we're seeing jump up on, on good overall volume, but the volume per minute is not really, not really there. And we continuously see these cheaper stocks go out there. All right. And these cheaper stocks, they make those moves coming up into the beginning of the morning. And once the morning opens, we completely see them sell off. So in order for me to even pay attention to this stock, I need to see a phenomenal show of hand. And I don't have it. I mean, I just it's very, very mixed all over the place. The bigger prints just aren't there to show us, OK, this is exactly what's going to happen. So I am going to keep that on our list just because of the fact that things are very, very slow out there. But remember, um, it's just a very common uh, event for these things for these cheaper stocks to to make their move their five seconds of fame as you know the, the pre-market comes in and then just end up dying off um and now let's go over to our scanners but like i said um they're pretty disappointing this morning tnxp we already know about now anf i know a bunch of people are probably looking at it and 
I just I'm not a huge fan, to be honest with with you. Now, first of all, there is no real show of hand. We do have some decent buying that's coming, you know, up above, and then you know we do have some selling at that 2050 level. Um, so it's it's very very mixed, and this is not a great stock. Now, this 21 level, I was really hoping to see something that that really gave us, you know, that the stock was going to be able to move today. It is going to have a bigger range than usual, just based off obviously seeing that the volume right now trading during the pre-market 716,000 shares, and usually it doesn't trade anything during the pre-market. Um, so that 21, I mean, we're seeing these little sell prints that are starting to come in at 2050 and 21, nothing really definitive yet. So you're going to need to see that. It's got a nice trend. Obviously, you know, there's interest in it and, and you know, people are looking at it, but as of right this second, um, it's it's at the bottom of my list until we do get some type of real show of hand. Uh, moving along, we have UWT, which we're not going to look at. NLSN, 123,000 shares, absolutely nothing. Although this is, <laughs> you want to talk about some interesting prints. Um, I don't know what this stock is, what's going on within this stock. But if you look, that 2750 is not, was that, it? no, it can't be. Yeah, that's uh, that's quite interesting. Um, to be completely honest with you, I don't really see uh, see anything that's. Uh, I mean, those are some huge prints. You know what? I'm going to put this on our side list, and <coughs> for literally no reason whatsoever, besides the fact that all these prints are in here, and we really, I just, I, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, the stock does trade a decent amount. I mean, trade 64 cents. I, I'm just very curious to see how that's going to go. So I'm going to put this on my radar, but I've, I'm not going to. Obviously, there's nothing to trade. It's absolute garbage right now. Um, and then TVIX, not going to be looking at that either. So moving over to our loser side of things, um, we have EXPR, 341,000 shares, which, you know, it's not bad. It's got a decent downtrend. You can short it, <coughs> oh, man. which um, it's, you know, is is a bit, obviously a big deal considering the fact that it's in such a big downtrend. My only problem here is, is that it just looks like it's going to get very quanty. It does not usually move much at all. Um, and you know, there's just no real show of hand yet. I mean, that's what it comes down to. So we'll put this one on our side list as well. And I'm going to uh, I'm going to keep an eye on it just because, you know what, um, especially with these cheaper stocks, we've all seen it before where you can't do anything with them because they move $2 to the downside, you know, $5 stock moves $2 to the downside, but you don't actually, you aren't actually able to get any type of shares. Um, so you know what, because of the fact that we can short, it, it's got a decent downtrend going in. We'll see what happens once it, you know, once it opens up or if we get some type of real show of hand, you can see at that six level, just nothing really going on there at all. CPRX, 915,000 shares, absolute garbage, just nothing really going on in it whatsoever. And ATO, we have 290,000 shares. Is it going to move today? It moves $1.63 on average. So it absolutely is. I just, I, I, there's better stuff. If I'm going to trade, you know, $100 stock, there's just better ones out there that I'm going to be looking at. MT, 267,000 shares, nothing there. And then DB, 534,000 shares. Now, DB, my biggest problem with this is the fact that uh, it doesn't move. I mean, it moves at 20 cents on average. This is just not a stock I could ever focus on. Now, can it move? Is it possible? Anything in, in, in DB, there's some news to the downside, but unfortunately it just does, there's just nothing you could do with it. Okay. So there's so much, so many better things for you to take your time and focus on <coughs> rather than actually sitting out there and looking at this and, and, and just and sitting and waiting for it to do something for an entire day, 20 cents top to bottom in an entire day is just not something that we want to pay much attention to. Um, forgot to look at my range and, and that's okay. That's what I'm here for, but just not, not something that I'd be paying any attention to CVS. Let's take a look. Okay. First tip T I F uh, nothing going on yet, but remember we do have that selling towards that bottom. So we got our move towards that upside based off those 95 prints. There's just nothing there yet. So overall we start all going to be looking for it to go back down, but we have to wait to see what the market makers are have, have in store for today. Once the market opens and see what prints it gig, what it gives. Remember we do, do whenever you have a gap like this, that's kind of sitting there. It's just always something that you want to keep in the back of your mind. So, you know, for them to come in today and then buy, you know, a whole bunch at 93 and push this thing back up before then dropping it back down is something I've seen many, many times before. There's nothing to say that's going to happen, but just something to keep and, you know, to, to, uh, to pay attention to. So it's going to be, it's going to matter depending on what the market shows once it opens. CVS in this, uh, in the, oops, place CVS in the news to acquired Aetna. Interesting. 
Um, well, you know what? I'm going to tell you, if they are, it looks like people aren't really interested in it yet. But you know what? Once the market opens, certainly take a look at it. I mean, this is a stock you could trade every single day. CVS, it moves $1.77. Um, and overall, I mean, you know, its average volume is 8.5 million. So certainly something that you can look at. Just nothing there for me yet that I can see any type of... Uh, any type of show of hand in. And then we have JD, which JD is showing. Well, first of all, JD is showing absolutely nothing, but <coughs> story, <coughs> excuse me. Story hasn't changed. 2150 has to break above 2150 before we would ever look into anything uh, to it falling back down with all that selling. So until it's above 20, 2150, nothing that we could even look at to the downside. Now, it doesn't have to go that much above 2150. So is it a great long trade on the pull up? Not really. And we also see that its range is very small. It trades about a dollar each day. Yesterday was 80 cents on a day where a lot of stock got some type of rally coming into it from that meeting. So um, not something I'd be looking at until it breaks up above the 2150 level. All right, guys, anything else out there that I miss? Um, did I mention CPRX? I don't think I did. No, I, I did. And I skipped past it. Um, you know, it's as of right. Oh, actually, I mean, it just came beautiful prints at three. Um, I'm assuming that's definitely what you meant. <laughs> Def definitely something. A million shares coming back in. It's got S print sitting at that three level um, that came in um, earlier this morning. Then obviously right before we started talking. So certainly something we'll put uh, put on there. All right, guys. So let's get ready for the morning. Um, I will uh, talk to everyone in the chat room and happy trading.